Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, follow, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I wanna thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen folks, there's a link tree down below. Has the links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there, follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen folks. Today, Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be talking about it. The New York Jets just closed the big deal, and we got to discuss it. I take live callers, call in. I'm going to go back and forth with you folks about this football team. So with that said and done and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks today about Aaron Rodgers being a New York Jet. Yes, it is done. It's done. That boy Aaron Rodgers is a jet. He's a jet. He's a jet. Aaron Rodgers is a jet. He's a jet now, officially. All the nonsense has been happening. All the rumors. All the leaks. All the the all this crazy talk. Everybody got something to say. Everybody's got, oh, insiders and inside information and misinformation and lies and all this crazy. That's all done. It's all done. It's official. No more of these lies. No more of these rumors. No more of these leaks. No more of these slow feeding of the media. No nothing. It is done. Aaron Rodgers is officially a New York Jet. And I'm hyped. I'm hyped, man. And we're going to get into it. Now listen. Again, the Green Bay Packers have officially traded Aaron Rodgers to the New York Jets. All right? Now in this trade, the New York Jets get Aaron Rodgers, number 15, the 15th pick in this year's draft in 2023. That's a couple of days away. And they also get a 2023 fifth round pick, okay? Now, the Packers get the 13th pick in 2023 in the draft. That's a couple days away, so we flip first round picks. They take 13, we get 15, move down two spots. They also get a 2023 second round pick, which is the 42nd round pick. All right, cool. We got another second round pick, remember? We, you know, moved on from Elijah Moore. So we got another second round pick. They get the 42. We also gave them a six rounder as well from 2023, which is pick number 207. All right, fine. They also get a conditional 2024 second round pick that could become a first round pick if Aaron Rodgers plays 65% of the plays for the New York Jets as a quarterback. Hmm. So basically, when you look at this situation, the Jets basically give up a second round pick for Aaron Rodgers, and unless something crazy happens, a first round pick for Aaron Rodgers in 2024, which if he's the Aaron Rodgers that I have known, you know, to love, it's going to be a really low first round pick. <laughs> it's going to be really low, dog. Basically a second rounder. Okay? <laughs> Real low. All right? Now, I've, I've, I've gone back and forth with some Jets fans already. that are saying, oh, we gave up too much. You feel like a... Stop. 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 Just stop. I don't want to hear it. I do not feel like we gave up too much. Not at all. We kept our first rounder from this year. We moved down two spots. We, we're in a great position to recoup more picks as well. And I'll talk about that in a second, right? Because we still have a first rounder. We still got our second rounder. We're also in a situation where we finally have figured out the biggest missing piece that the New York Jets have had for I don't know how long. We finally have a quarterback. How much capital have we wasted trying to find a quarterback? Anybody remember all the picks that Mike McCagnan traded up? However many second round picks he gave up to move up and grab Sam Dar or to be in a position. And then we ended up grabbing Sam Darnold. Anybody remember how high we took Zach Wilson 
right? And to this point, I'm not ready to close the door on the kid, but he ain't, he ain't it right now, all right? Let me go through a list of other names, right? Anybody remember Mark Sanchez? He didn't work out here, he was gone. Geno Smith, he didn't work out here either, right? Went through a lot of trials and tribulations, he's gone too. Didn't work out with him. What about Bryce Petty? He's gone too. Uh, Christian Hackenberg, anybody remember him? Trash, gone, didn't do anything here. Anybody remember us over dramatically overpaying Ryan Fitzpatrick to pray to God that he would do something here? Trash, gone. All those guys are gone. The New York Jets have not been into the, in the playoffs in ten over 10 years. What do you think is the reason? If you could point your finger on something, what do you think is one of the biggest reasons the Jets haven't been to the playoffs? Let me tell you. Hold on. Quarterback! We ain't had one. That's been one of the biggest issues. Our offense has been dismal for so long because we have not been able to find the quarterback to properly lead us. That's why our, our offenses are so archaic. So archaic. Stone Age offenses. Ryan Fitzpatrick, as trash as he is, has held New York Jets offensive records. Statistically, he's one of the greatest quarterbacks that the Jets have ever had. Ryan, he does! I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. La, la, la. I don't want to hear it. We did not give up too much. We gave up just enough. I have no issues with this deal. All right? Zero. Now, not only does this, right, give us some good stuff on the field, it gives us some great stuff in the locker room, right? Here's a guy that is going to be well-respected by everybody in this locker room. Hell, you got guys waiting, salivating to come here because he's going to be playing here, right? That's why we got Alan Lazard. Hello? He knew what he was getting into when he signed the deal. He knew who he was coming here to play with. By the way, we got this kid, Zach Wilson. That's his hero. If anybody is going to help this kid ever become anything, right, it's going to be Aaron Rodgers. Damn good deal by Joe Douglas. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. We're going to be live 7 p.m. Eastern. I better hear from y'all. 515-602-9639. The New York Jets have Aaron Rodgers. You folks have a good one. Peace.